Hey y'all, it's Julie and Julia with Longhorn Kennels. You can see this puppy and all of our others on our website at longhornpuppies.com or on Facebook and Instagram at Longhorn Kennels. Here I have with us um, Blossom. Look how cute she is. She is a mini cockapoo. Her mom, Meadow, is 20, 22 pounds. I can't remember off the top of my head. Dad is suave. He's seven. These pups are staying small. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at the cocker head on her. I love it. I love that. Is it a Humpty Dumpty head? I don't know. Their heads are so round and they get that really strong brow. I love cocker faces. Anyways, um, so she's a half and half. And both of her parents have their OFA certifications that exceed the breed standard. Why that's important to you? Well, because you're probably not looking at hip dysplasia, nor patellar luxation, nor would you be looking at a myriad of other um, diseases that we can rule out with genetic testing. Health testing is really thrown around in the dog world, and you should really understand it. There is nobody else that I know of, at least in Texas, maybe anywhere, that exceeds that recommended health testing. We also certify hearts. We do things that aren't even, um, you know, on the list because they're not even <coughs> high risk. Oh, bless you. But at the same time, um, when toy poodles have, you know, knowingly bad patellas in the breed and you're breeding to a different dog, you want to make sure that the different dog like the Cocker Spaniel, also doesn't have bad patellas. It's just, I'm, I'm here to give you the dog that you deserve. And I want to produce dogs that are healthy. That's good for them, too. Um, it's, it's just ethical. Anyways, off my soapbox, going back to Blossom. Hello, my angel. I see you. She is so stinking cute, y'all. She's got a little teeny tip of white on her chin. Let's show her neck. Can you lift her head up for me? Sorry about that. Look, lots of white under there. It's okay, you're not falling. Okay, sorry. Um, front right paw has a decent bit of white, like a little tiny glove lid or something. She is cute. Turning her around, check out this coat. Wow. Super, super, super gorgeous. I can't say enough nice things about it. This dog is sweet. So, she is a dog that she sits and waits and watches you to see what you want from her. And then she tries to figure out how to make it happen. She is, I mean, like, she's like a little cherub. She's angelic. She is happy. She's joyful. She's, I mean, she's not, like, stoic or morose, but she's generally just very content and happy to be with you, and I love that about her. She's also extremely loving. Can't say enough nice things about Blossom, so there you have it. Thanks, y'all.